Here on First News, we've told you how local people are making masks as a hobby to give to those around them. But what about those who did it as a way to support their business? 27 First News reporter Chandler Blackman spoke with the owner of Piccadilly Parlor Victorian Tea Room, who says it was the masks that kept their business afloat. I've made close to 2,000 masks, and that is how my business survived. Claudia Zacharco owns the Piccadilly Parlor in Canfield a dine-in Victorian tea room for private events, tea parties, and bridal and baby showers. But during the stay-at-home order, Zacharco had to get creative and turn to other skills she had learned to survive. As a little girl, my mom taught me a lot of awesome traits. She taught me how to bake, how to cook, how to sew, how to do a lot of things. So since I couldn't be at Piccadilly Parlor, I had to sew. With carry-out sales being close to 20%, what started as a hobby eventually turned into a well-needed source of income. As I was giving them out, people would want them. My friend needs one. My husband needs one. Um, people in the medical field needed them. So I started making them and I started selling them because I needed that income to come into Piccadilly Parlor. Even with masks being sold, times were still tough. But Zacharco says it was her faith and strong upbringing that led her through. Coming from a family of five siblings, we, we, we're going to make it work. You know, there's no, no, there's no negative. You know what? You have options. You have options. As business begins to pick back up, Zacharco says she still enjoys dedicating five hours of her day after work to making masks, especially for children going back to school. I want to make it fun, at least for the kids to wear them, you know, whether it's Spider-Man or SpongeBob or Patrol Paw, whatever I can find so that they'll wear it and they'll understand it. Awesome. Chandler Blockman, WKBN 27 First News.